I want to ask you about Peter Murrell. Um, he told us that as a rule, you don't discuss government, government business with him, but it's a different story when it comes to party business. Indeed, you told the Daily Record yourself in 2012 that of your relationship with him that you just end up talking about it all the time. You never leave it outside. You've been very clear that you met Mr. Salmon because you've been told by Jeff Aberdeen that he was about, or possibly about, to resign from the SNP, and you would have to prepare the party for that. Those are your words. But you said nothing to Peter Murrell of your concerns, and he just thought that Mr. Salmon was popping in for a chat. Is that correct? Um, I think it probably merits slightly more explanation. And if, if the did you say it was 2012 the Daily Record article? Well, maybe we'd learned by then that we shouldn't spend all our time talking politics, that it wasn't good for. Yeah. Um, a relationship or, or health or anything else. Um, I just say that flippantly. Um, the fact of the matter is, I and you've you've posited this. I heard you posit to Peter and and to others that surely you know if if I thought that he was coming to resign and everything, we'd have to have a handling plan in place and everything. I didn't. I, I worried that something like that was the case, but I wanted to speak to him before I said here's running with anybody else. I, I wanted to speak to him confidentially. If he had come into my house on the 2nd of April and said, Nicola, I'm about to resign from the SNP, then of course I would have told people in the party so we could have prepared for that. As it turns out, he didn't tell me that and I decided I wanted to hear from him what it was he wanted to tell me. First Minister, there's lots of things that the people watching um, probably don't understand entirely whether that's court orders, redacted evidence and so on, but they do understand marriage. Um, I gen uh, if you genuinely thought that you were meeting him in a party, sure, I do, so in, in a party personal space um, and thought the, f the party was facing potentially one of its biggest threats in its history, the resignation of the man who'd effectively built it, can you see how hard it is for those people to believe that you would say nothing to your husband, the SNP chief executive, who you have said previously you talk about about party business a lot with. Can you see how hard, hard that might be to believe? Look, I can see how hard all this is for people to understand. All I would say is there's lots of different emotions and factors and considerations. Um, I had been given the impression by Jeff resignation was a